So we are visiting today an 18 meter steel hull trawler that was built in 2013. This boat has nearly 10,000 liters of fuel and at 8 knot she will cover more than 2,500 nautical miles. She is equipped with a huge Seakeeper gyro stabilizers that will keep her safe and stable in any condition uh, while making her way on the water uh, or on the anchor. Now the boat is a, an owner version. She has very nice uh, master cabin as I'm going to show soon on the full walkthrough video. And another uh, VIP cabin also has good accommodation for two crew. And now we are going to make a full walkthrough video as we come to the anchor. Now if you want to learn more about this boat, use her webpage by using the link at the video description below or click the card that appear now on your screen. If you want to skip from one part of the video to the other, you will find chapters again at the video description below so you can skip from one part to the other. So we are starting this video from the bow. We have a very nice sitting place here in the front with a small table. The table can be adjusted, can adjust the height of it telescopically. We have two windlasses from uh, Moyer, each connected to 120 meter of chain. Uh, the chains are connected to 300 uh, kilograms a heavy admiral uh, anchors made from stainless steel. We can also see the uh, stainless uh, pools here that uh, there is some kind of a sun owing which is stretched between them and is shading the bow area. Now from here we can see uh, the pilot house up there, the small flybridge and uh, let's proceed on the starboard side and go into the pilot house and see what we have there. <clears throat> Very high uh, bulwarks and railing makes you feel very safe even the, when the sea is choppy. Another, uh, another uh, bulwark here, another cleat here to uh, for mooring and let's go inside the pilot house and see what we have here sitting place with a small table that can be extended that's very useful captain's chair that can be adjusted with height and very good viewing 180 degrees all around now let's quickly go on the instrument and see what we have here so uh, we have uh, generators uh, starting and a display for the main engine uh, which is Cummins uh, 172 kilowatts, which is about 230 horsepower. At the moment, the engine has uh, 1,900 hours. Um, this is the control for the Seakeeper stabilizer, gyro stabilizer. It's a huge Seakeeper. We are going to see it soon in the engine room. Two very big screens. Uh, which are connected uh, to uh, Feruno instruments. There is GPS from Feruno and radar from Feruno. And we can also see uh, two VHF radios again from Feruno. Um, the throttles for the engines are here. There is a bow thruster and aft thruster from side power. And here we can see the autopilot uh, control and some panel to display a bilge alarm. Uh, here at the right hand side, some switches 
uh, for lights uh, mainly. So that's about uh, the flybridge. Very, very useful, very good vicinity. Um, and it has two doors to go to the decks. Then again, uh, this uh, sitting area, you can even lie down here at night passage for the person who is not uh, on shift. And from here, passing this door, we are going into the salon and the galley. Now, the way the boat was built, it has very, very large windows uh, stretching uh, from the ceiling nearly to the floor. So it gives amazing uh, lookout all around. Very beautiful. Down here, there is a sitting corner for dining for four people. We'll sit here comfortably. This is part of the small galley and some nice uh, and quite generous working surfaces. Let's step into the galley and see what we have here. <clears throat> well, there is a stove here from Bosch, a, a microwave from Bosch, and dishwasher, two sinks, quite deep sinks, very important. And on the other side, uh, there are quite big uh, refrigeration uh, space from uh, isotherm. And last one is the ice maker. Uh, here on the wall, at the four side, there is a lot of uh, storage spaces. Let's check some of them for glasses. Uh, dedicated places for glasses. Let's see more spices and let's turn back looking astern and again we can see this uh, nice dining um, corner and beautiful nice salon with great view outside Now, just before we go and check the flybridge, and these are the stairs to the flybridge, we will go outside and check first uh, the aft deck. Now, separating the salon from the aft deck is heavy doors, heavy stanchions. You can see it here. Uh, three stanchions, one, two, three, and heavy door. Uh, which can protect the, the salon from uh, heavy weather. And a very nice sitting place here at the aft deck. A small table can be located here if the new owner wish to do so. Now this is the control for the passerelle, the passerelle pops out from here. It's a hydraulic passerelle. And if we are stepping down to the uh, water platform, which is quite generous as well, we can also see uh, the capstans. We, there are two capstans here from Lou France and the uh, bullards, heavy bullards from stainless steel in both sides quite easy to handle when you're uh, standing on the second or the first stair let's go all the way around <clears throat> there is a folding cleat here so you can open it and uh, tie your dinghy up another one here and this uh, these hooks are for uh, connecting the the swimming ladder another two cleats on both sides again you can uh, you can moor your uh, tie your dinghy or your jet ski and so on then again this Lufrance uh, capstan and we are stepping back 
and forward to the main deck. Let's have a quick look at the side of the boat. Again, you see these uh, high bulwarks at the front with the railing, which gives a lot of safety when you're going on deck, especially when the sea is rough. And again, this massive door separating the aft deck from the salon. Let's have a quick look on the other side as well. Has a better light from the sun. Okay, from here we are stepping back into the salon and we will climb up to check the flybridge. A good option to see the salon from a different angle. It's a small salon, uh, but for an 18 meter boat, uh, the space has been used very cleverly. Uh, together with a small galley with one open space. Okay, so we're moving forward, taking a sharp uh, right and climbing through the stairs up to the flybridge. Let's see what we have here. There are some um, cradles for the dinghy and the jet ski. Uh, they can be removed, of course an open space for a big uh, sun bathing area. You can see that this space is, can store the jet ski together with a three meter dinghy from Bring. Um, this crane uh, from Steelhead Marine is, uh, is launching the dinghy and the jet ski. Now turning the camera forward we can already see the other part of the flybridge with the helm station and here at the port side there is a small uh, storage space um, there is a sink just underneath this cover you can see the the sink so you can store a little bit of uh, cleaning equipment um, and some deck equipment Moving forward, so here we can see this uh, beautiful seating area all around with this table. The table probably need a change of this top, but uh, it's a little bit tired, but uh, you can definitely understand the potential. There is a two extensions to this table. So all in all, you can uh, dine here outside uh, basically the boat is an owner version, she has just two cabins so she can easily have here four or even six people around with some two, with another two uh, folding chairs. Now here we have the helm station just before we go uh, closer you can see that there is another sitting place here behind, quite nice, somebody can sit behind the captain while he's uh, maneuvering the boat, a uh, captain's chair. Um, and here we have the wheel and the control for the bow and aft thrusters, and of course the throttles and big screen and the autopilot. Uh, this uh, screen is dedicated for the engine controllers and uh, you can also see the generators by uh, moving between different pages. From here we can uh, have a quick look at the front side of the boat. Very good view when you're sitting here. And let's look around, turn the camera. Then again, this sitting area. And above us, of course, there is a hard top, which is covering uh, about 60-70% of this small flybridge. So let's go back to the main deck and from there we will step down to check the cabins and the engine room.
so we are stepping down to see the guest cabin and just before we dive down I want to return a little bit backwards and to show this area this area is empty now but as you can see there are a lot of uh, electrical sockets here so there used to be a TV here and of course uh, the new owner can place a TV uh, even a very large size you see the, the space is available here and the people who are sitting here on this couch can watch the TV so we are going downstairs <coughs> and we are going to check the guest cabins Now, just a quick location about where any cabin is. This is the VIP cabin. It's a full beam VIP cabin. A lot of storage space here, which I'm going to open up for you. Master cabin is here, and the crew cabin is here. And, there, and from there, we will go to the engine room. So let's start with the VIP cabin. Now the fact that this boat has only two guest cabins uh, is actually allowing a lot of uh, space to each cabin and they feel very very spacious. You can see that there is a lot of uh, storage space here. Deep drawers, same another three here, another closet here, very deep there is some safety equipment down here and same on the other side now there is a big ensuite related to this cabin everything is clean without bad smells sink toilet and a very very big shower device to warm up and dry your towels and here we are again in the cabin now one thing that I want to draw your attention uh, first of all uh, there are four port lights here that can provide a uh, fresh air when it's allowed to open them and natural light now, if you look at this door this is just a indoor door but you can see how massive it is so it can withstand some high seas and a lot of uh, movements of the boat and it can be also locked with this now I'm not sure it's a fully uh, authorized watertight uh, but it's definitely massive so let's quickly see what kind of uh, things we have behind these uh, doors. So let's start with this. We have two uh, small domestic fridges, but it's a nice uh, addition of volume to the ones that we saw on the, on the galley itself, with two freezers and fridges down below, and additional storage space up here. On the other side, here, we have a dryer from Bosch and washing machine, as well as uh, a lot of uh, place for storage and also for operation to store your dirty clothes and having some uh, clothes, uh, clean towels and bed sheets. Now up, up here, uh, there is the air conditioning system actually there are two systems here for different parts of the boat one here and one there which is great to have in this location because it's very accessible and easy to handle um, okay so we are moving now and getting inside the master cabin room it's a great cabin 
It is using more of the half of the beam of the boat. Again, there is a one port light with fresh air and uh, three big windows back there on the port side. Large storage space here. Very deep and large uh, hanging closet and as well as some drawers underneath. A kind of a, a makeup table with some storage underneath. You can place a small chair here and a lot of storage all around. Now of course the master cabin has its own ensuite very clean, very nice. And here again, there is a big shower, but this is really a huge one. Um, thick flooring, and the walls are furnished with the off-white marble. Very pleasant. So we are back into the cabin. You can see from this angle the fact that the colors here are not all dark uh, enhance the feeling of space. Very good light system, feel uh, light and ventilated. And we are stepping out back into the operation corridor which by the way this, this space is used cleverly because uh, the extra floor space uh, or area can be used for operation of the washing machine uh, and taking things out of the fridge and so on. Uh, also there are storage just behind the stairs and from here we are stepping into the crew cabins. Let me see if I can turn the light here. Yeah. So very nice crew cabins. Now, in, in the case that the owner is operating the boat itself, uh, by himself, uh, this crew cabin can uh, turn into additional guest cabin, uh, which makes much more sense uh, when the owner is operating the boat himself. Uh, more storage space here for the crew, hanging closet, drawers, and also on the other side, there's a lot of uh, storage space and general space to you know to get dressed and organize yourself moving further uh, backwards uh, there is a nice uh, ensuite for the crew very reasonable size same uh, level of finishes at uh, the moment the showers uh, has some uh, things stored inside cleaning materials and uh, the swimming ladder, but basically it's a very good size uh, ensuite for the crew. Now from here, through a watertight door, we will start and uh, have a tour in the engine room. Let's see what we have here. Now the first thing that catch your eye is not the main engine, is this huge, huge, massive Sea Keeper uh, stabilizers, gyro stabilizers. And then um, I asked the crew to open the, the floor, the bilge, and the engines from Cummins are actually located from here. Uh, each one of them is uh, 172 kilowatts, which is about 230 horsepower. Uh, one here on the starboard side, the other one is there. We are going to visit it soon. Uh, before that, behind this wall, there is a full storage of uh, batteries and it, they are very accessible. It's a, it's a quick opening and the batteries are here. The batteries are deep cycle. Uh, they are from 2018. Let's go a little bit inside. So that's the Cummins engine. At the moment has about 1,900 hours. 
and then this is the huge sea keeper I guess this machine can fit uh, even a much bigger boat but it's only an advantage because uh, it can keep her stable uh, in any sea condition now we have two generators here from Cummins uh, this one uh, is uh, 11 uh, sorry 70, 11 uh, kilowatts and a bigger one which is now working very quiet with uh, 27 kilowatts uh, the port side engine is located here uh, there is a little bit of misadvantage of uh, maintaining these engines they are not very accessible from the side but on the other hand the advantage is that the center of gravity is lowered significantly down and it's uh, definitely uh, enhancing the stability of the boat the overall stability of the boat now just in front of us we can see the seafari uh, water maker it's a small water maker but it's more than enough uh, for the uh, amount of guests that uh, is available on board so this is another view of this uh, small and well organized engine room let's see what we can see just behind us this is a pressure tank for the hydro 4 and just behind this space there is a boiler and um, I'm not sure about the capacity but there is another one on the other just on the other side so all in all uh, we should have enough hot water camera a safety camera which is displayed uh, in the in the bridge and from here there are stairs which are leading us directly um, to the directly to the water platform behind with a massive water tie door um, so you can see and you understand that this is not the only access to the engine room we just came inside um, from the accommodation area so that was the 18 meter uh, steel hull trawler if you want to learn more about this boat visit our website by using the link at the video description below